Today I'm going to show you how to use distribute points on faces and two ways to create masks. So let's see it. Let's do the camera, the light, go to geometry nodes, let's close this panel and this one. Let's get a new profile and delete this and add grid. Let's connect it, make it bigger and add more vertices. So we know this basic node that it's called distribute points on faces. That basically, as the name say, distribute points on faces, all the faces of the object. And here we have the density that is like more or less the number of points. It's not exactly the number of points, but it's like how many points do you want. So we can decrease and increase this number to add more points that later we can convert these points in objects. And the seed is, like always, the different pattern of the points. Okay, easy, right? Perfect. Now we are using random, but we can work with poison disk. So what's the difference? The difference is this value that is really interesting. This value means that if we don't want, for example, points overlapping, like here, and we want them to have a, a radius of separation, so for example, this point, I don't want any point in this radius, then I need to increase this number. So that means that now every point at least have a radius of 0 0.2. So more we increase this number, less points we have. Because every time the radius is bigger. So we don't have points overlapping. As you can see, more I increase, bigger is the radius. Until we have less and less points. Okay, perfect. You know this. And then what we have, the density, like before. However, if you increase this, it doesn't matter if you change this, because always we have the same distance. But this density, and this is the factor. So we have this number of points, and we can decide if we want to show all of them or less. And that's it. Okay, perfect. Now, how we can say, for example, let's show join geometry. Let's show the original object. How we can say that we want only points in this part, for example. And in the rest, I don't want points. I don't want points here and here. So we want to do a mask. To create a mask, the problem is that we have to use an original object. What does it mean this? That we cannot create the object inside Geometry Nodes. So if you want to apply a mask in a grid, we need to create first the grid before the Geometry Nodes. Remember, we are working with a cube. So what we have to do is to add this object and create a grid. For example, now let's add Geometry Nodes and do the same. Distribute points of faces, join Geometry, let's join the object, and let's add, for example, more points. If I want to mask this, what I have to do, there is two ways. The first one is creating a vertex group. So we need to set the object and go to this icon and create a vertex group. To create a vertex group, we have to go in edit mode. And now we need to select the elements we want to create a mask. This plane only has one face, so let's subdivide this object. Subdivide. Subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. For example, like this. And now I can select some parts, for example, with the two faces and select these ones. So I have this selection. And now I can create a mask of this. Oh, with this selected, I go to this icon, vertex group, and I create a new group. But we didn't create a mask yet. We need to assign this to this group. So we need to click here. And now we have a mask with these faces. To see it better, what you can do is to click outside and click here in select to see what's inside of this group. So let's click and it shows me this. Perfect. If you want, you can change the name. For example, I'm going to call it mask1. And now let's go out of here. So object mode. And to use this mask, what we have to do is to use selection and connect selection here. And now we have to go to geometry nodes. 
And here we have the selection. Now we have to click here. And here we can call the name of the mask we created. Remember, was mask1. And now look. It's using the mask that we created. Remember, if I go to edit mode, you can see that the points, almost all the points, are inside this mask. So, with this technique, you can create your own mask and decide where you want the points. And later, remember, you can convert these points to objects. And if you want to edit the mask, go to edit mode and just select here. And for example, now I want to select this and remove. So these faces have been removed of the mask. Remember, if you are lost, always click outside and click select to see which parts of the mask are inside this group. So you can add more faces or you can delete. And also you can create new groups. Order this one if you want. And start again. I want here, assign, here, assign, and here, assign. And now we need to go to Geometry Notes and change the new group called Group. Now I'm going to show you the second way to create a mask. To use this technique, we have to go to Wave Paint. And now you will see these wave colors. Basically, this is really easy. We have a wave value, and zero means blue, and wave one means red. So when it's red, that means that it's full mask, like white in Photoshop. And when we see blue, it's like black in Photoshop. It's like saying here we don't want to show pixels, and here we want to show full pixels. And in the middle, we have this transition. So from blue to red, we go through cyan, green, yellow, red. And why we see now these colors? Because remember, before we created in edit mode a mask. If we go to vertex group and select the mask, these masks that we selected are going to be red. So if we go to wave paint, now we understand why we see this. If you want to delete this, just go here and delete the group. You can do it here or do it here. And start again. So when you start again, you have an object, blue, and here we have a brush. And if we click, we start assigning weight. So more we click, more weight we assign to this part of the element, this vertex. So if we start painting, we can create our own mask. And if you want to control the colors, for example, if I don't want to paint red, then I'm going to decrease this. And now the maximum value I'm going to paint is green. And if I select zero, I'm going to paint blue. However, I don't know why. When I paint blue, it doesn't disappear this point. I don't know if it's a book or something. Maybe someone can explain me this. But in theory, these points should disappear. If you want to paint blue and delete this, I recommend you to start again. So delete this and start again and select, for example, the color you want and start painting. Here we have the radius, so you can paint more. And here you have the strength. So let's see it again. For example, if I select one of a string, this is one. And if I select less string, you can see that the intensity is less. So you can play with different values to understand how this works. And if you want, also you have gradients. Here you can select and create a gradient. You can make it linear or if you want radial. And then you have here like Photoshop a smear where you can like smear the color. So it's like trying to diffuse the colors. And you have this average that tries to like when you click to make an average of the colors. 
And then you have blur that, in theory, it blurs a bit the colors. It's like the transition. It's really important to understand that the colors, you can be more precise, have more resolution, but always depends of the number of faces. So if you don't have too much faces, then you will see more pixels in the colors. So for example, I'm going to select everything and subdivide more and more. And now, for example, if I come back here, you will see that the resolution will be better. So let's go to the brush, make it smaller. And now you can see that I'm painting based in the size of the faces. However, it's really important if we have less faces. So, for example, let's create a new object. I'm going to go in object mode, add a plane. So this plane only has one face. And now if I go in wave paint and I try to paint this, you will see, you will see that when I start painting close to vertex, it's going to change the color, but it will change more zone because I only have four vertex. So remember that this technique, basically it paints the vertex and based in the vertex, it makes an interpolation. So now if I paint this one, we have this zone red. And if I paint this one, everything is red. So basically more faces you have, more pixels and more control, more resolution, you can get in your object. I forgot something really important to mention before I said that when I was in wave paint, that if you paint in zero, it feels like you are deleting the colors, but the points doesn't disappear. Oh, well, actually you can see that something's disappearing, but the best way to delete these points, by the way, if you want to control these three values, Without clicking here, just click, right click. And here you can control really fast the values. So the best way to delete this is to go here. That I forgot to mention this, that is really important. This is the different modes of blend. So if you want to delete, you need to select subtract. And now, really important, you need to select one. If not, it's not going to work, as you can see. But if we select one, now we are inverting the colors. So one means blue and zero means red. So basically, if we paint now with blue in subtract, we can delete the points. So this is the solution. Let's check it again. I'm going to select draw with red and paint everywhere. I'm going to increase the radius. So everything is red. We have points everywhere. And now I want to start deleting. So subtract, and I'm going to decrease the radius, and I start deleting. Actually, bigger. If not, we are not going to go fast. And you can see that it's working. If you think it's not working, it's because you didn't paint properly. Look. So try to be accurate. So this is the way to add points or delete points with the different colors of wave, with draw and subtract. And you have other modes to play if you want to try, but this is the base how to add different points and create mask with geometry nodes. And remember, later you can convert these points to any object with instance on point. And we have UV spheres only here. And if I want to make like a river here, I come back here and select less radius, let's change the view, draw, and let's make like a little path where we can add more objects. So I hope you learned something new and you remember the two ways to create masks. And if you like this video, I recommend you to give a like, subscribe, and you can do this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.